Wagwan, everybody. Welcome to our next episode of Talk the Things Podcast. I want to apologize for the little break that I've been taking, even though it's not really too much a break, you know, because I'm actually working on more content to give you guys. Um, And I have a big announcement coming up. And I'm not going to say it yet, but just know that I've been working behind the scenes on the network to try to get you guys more content that I know that you guys will fuck with. But today, I want to talk about something that a lot of people have been recommending to me to talk about. And I've been pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off. But the amount of people that's come to me with it now, I said, nah, I'm going to talk about it. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. But we're going to be talking about the young niggas versus the older niggas. And when I'm saying the niggas, like, you might be, what the fuck are you talking about, the niggas? I'm talking about the street niggas, the hood niggas, whatever you want, whatever you want to call them, the gangster them, the road man, those youths. You know, we're going to be talking about the young generation nowadays niggas versus the older generation like you know 90s 2000s early 2000s because there's a big difference and a lot of people are saying that the young youths them now are just on a different level of um i don't even know if to say badness but i wanted to let you guys know that most of the stuff you're going to hear me not even most everything that you hear me reading out in this video is the thoughts of the people in the city that sent in the request to me i'm um, not even the request sent their opinions into me because um i want to hear what the city has to say i don't want it to always be me talking me talking i want the city i want you guys to have your voice too so you guys can send me your stuff on talk the things send me your opinions or whatever videos you want me to make and i'll make them but in this case a lot of people were sending in their opinions of what they think about the young youths them versus the older youths them so this is not my opinion these are literally their opinions that i put down into different categories and the categories are the brazenness of the young youths them the sloppiness of the young youths them versus the older generation for both of them the music that is between that you know how the music differences are and the hotness of what the young youths them are doing if you don't understand what hotness means, then you will know by the time we reach that category. I'm going to explain it to you. So I want to go back to the beginning and start talking about the brazenness. Now, a lot of the people that were um, commenting and messaging me were saying that the brazenness that the young youths them have is different. Because when we were back in our days and doing our shit, we weren't so brazen like how these young youths are. Um, For example, like, okay, there was always crime, right? And I want you guys to remember that. There was always big shootouts. There was always them stuff. But what the people are trying to say is that, like, for instance, if you see her up dropping off his baby daughter at, um, what would you say, at daycare, right? And you know that's him. And you, you see him. He don't see you, but you see him. And you know that, you know, you want to get him or whatever the case may be. They use them nowadays with a shoot up the man, shoot up the baby, shoot up innocent people standing up dropping off their kids shoot up the teacher and shoot up the schools and perhaps other baby that's a lot of stuff that you hear happening now and that's what the young youths them are doing and that's what people are saying like man them back in the day would have never done something like that if anything we would have make him continue to not see us you know we wouldn't make him see us but we will follow him to where you have to go after he drop off the youth after he drive up and left the school area and the picnic and the bag of parents and the old people and he's wherever he is you just take care of him and nobody has to know but the use them they're saying isn't doing that nowadays. Nowadays, everybody's just old man loose and just just brazen. That's the only word that we could think of. But the next category I wanted to talk about is the sloppiness. A lot of people are saying that um the use them nowadays are sloppy with what they're doing. There's not much organization, they're just loose. Um, for example, right? They're saying back then, say there was a nigga in the mall and he wanted up seeing one of his target them in the mall, right? And same thing like before, the target never seen you guys looking, but you see him, right? They're saying that the man them nowadays would have just rinse out the mall. And the sloppiness comes in where you don't even think to think how much witness is watching you. You don't even think to think how much security camera is watching you. You know, the security them that's underfoot, how Babylon can just come back to you and see that you did this. Man them don't think about that again. They're just doing whatever they do to try to keep up with image, to try to say that like, they're the hardest and... They're, they're just moving sloppy. They're not moving like they have sense. Like a, a man from back in the day now would have probably all, like I said before, not make, continue to make him not see you and go follow him out there. Go follow him in the parking lot or some shit where there's not much cameras and do what you have to do where nobody can't see, where there's not no bag of witness, where nobody isn't, you know what I mean? Where it's not so easy to pin back to you. And that's where the sloppiness is coming in that a lot of the people them are saying they use them nowadays. They're just sloppy. They don't know what they're doing. They're just, it, it's like they don't have no good training. They, should, they just do whatever they do. But the third thing I wanted to talk about, the third category was the music. The music influenced a lot of the youths them to try act like this, to try act like they're a hood man and shit. But a lot of them aren't. 
um they're not even from the fucking hood but then they want to be because they want to they, 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 they like the image that comes with it I, I don't know if it's respect them one or if it's money they want or if it's bitches they want but there's like a culture that goes around this where a lot of people who don't grow up in this try to insert themselves in it don't know what they're doing and wind up dying or fucking killing everybody because they just don't know what they're doing there's no guidance everything is sloppy they're just breezing nobody knows what they're doing um they're just hot they're just extremely fucking hot and that's the next category but i mean i'm getting too ahead of myself um but this is kind of leading into it because if you listen to the music that some of the man them are making now a lot of people are saying bro you guys are just like ratting on yourself throughout the whole song you guys are just telling babylon every single thing that you're doing at what time you're doing it where you're doing it who you're doing it to the people them first last mega name postal code so a lot of people are seeing that you know the young youths them don't know what they're doing like they're just doing whatever like they're just so how you in a music video and i heard that police they say that police can't use your music against you but a lot of people are still saying even if you did do what you do why would you go list out everything like that in order on a, on a, on a track for Babylon to listen to? And you know, so police is watching you already. A lot of people just say that don't make no sense. But the last thing I want to talk about was the hotness. Remember I was saying that in the beginning of the podcast and how you guys not might know what it means. Um, The best way for me to explain hotness or a man moving hot is like, you're, 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 just, you're just moving hot. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you want police look at you like you're moving suspiciously. You're moving like police look at me like i don't even know how to describe it like um how would you say a man's moving how, I, you, when you say it, you just know like um suspiciously like say you go to the grocery store and you go thief right and you put something in your pocket you're walking around looking 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 like that's moving hot like bro just walk just move normally you don't have to be doing all that just like like you are thief just walk you know what i mean so you guys can kind of get what that means now okay so a lot of the ogs are saying that they use them nowadays they're on the snapchat jingling them something in camera wiggling around spinning it on finger in camera for everybody on snapchat to see not just everybody on snapchat for also babylon remember babylon has access to those things you know so you're on snapchat showing off your something them on snap beer um video footage now there was always some niggas that was whatever taking picture and doing whatever from a long time but there was still a time from when i've gotten to understand from a lot of people messaging me saying that there was a time when you would never want to fucking be on video having that especially if you know say you're not allowed but the man them now are putting themselves on video posting the video in fact they're on facetime facetime recorded phone call fucking facetime doing whatever they're doing and it's like bro i i just don't i, I don't know it wouldn't make no sense for you to you're over the line over the line speaking clear english for the police to listen to what you're seeing so that's the next thing that a lot of people are saying that the man are just moving hot bro all around um the new generation like i was saying in the beginning of the um podcast there is a lot of young niggas that are doing their stuff that don't move like this at all but majority of what's happening today is people moving like this and it became a discussion so i want you guys to let me know what you think about this whole situation um if you agree with most of the facts that the people were saying in the, ex the scenarios and the examples that was given now remember those are not my examples and scenarios these are just scenarios and examples that people gave into the show and it was just to give you guys an idea and an image of what you know people feel is happening in the city with the young youths and that's kind of the you know the young youth versus the older generation so you guys let me know what you think about this whole topic and we will talk next time on talk to things podcast